All right, here, here we go, guys. This is the picture. This is the finished product, or my finished product. Remember, I start you off, and then you take it to the next level. It was a heart that we used for ours, for some of the classes. And um, you put your item on the inside, because remember, we're communicating the idea here. And that idea is to tell people a little bit about yourself as we are being inspired by Piet Mondrian's red, white, and blue composition. So we drew it in our own way using whatever rectangles and squares we wanted. You could be creative. Add another shape in there. Go for it. Show Ms. Bach what you can do. I use rectangles and squares. Piet Mondrian used rectangles and squares, but you can use whatever shapes you would like to. As long as you still follow our guideline of using red, yellow, and blue in the background because we want to show our knowledge of the primary colors and how important they are because all colors come from them. And then telling people about ourselves because we're communicating the idea and the idea is telling people a little bit about ourselves. Remember my little lollipop is from when I wanted to own a candy store and I used to decorate cakes and a lot of people were had a candy thing. Um, also think about what else you want to add because this is actually little pencils that glow in the dark with a UV light. So that was my extra little something and I had it dripping off of the lollipop and that was my other extra little something. So what is extra that you're going to put inside or outside or will you change the shape altogether and add something that is not a heart? Maybe you choose a new shape to add. You are in control. Um, you are uh, doing this project how you would like it. I just give you a guideline. So all the projects, I give you a guideline to start you off and then you take it to the next level. Here's another version of that where in one class we didn't use a heart at all. We just drew our objects and added intricate patterns. Think about the different lines and shapes. The, the patterns before was pretty simple. This one is a little more intricate. How are you going to add to it? What are you going to do? How are you going to take it to the next level? Um, that is totally up to you. But above all, like I said, do your very best. Don't just think simple, think extraordinary because you are extraordinary. I hope this helps you a little bit. Enjoy, have fun, and I can't wait to see what you submit.